Hey all, it's Steve here from A470RC Soaring, where we deal with all things radio control gliders. And if that's something that you are interested in, then please subscribe to my channel. Right, without further ado, let's crack on. You may remember from my last video uh, where I unboxed a couple of models from J&H Aerospace um, in the USA. Uh, one of them was a Micro Bird of Time, a 48 inch version of that classic design. Um, and I was going to leave it a few weeks before making a start building this um, because I had a few projects already on the go. But um, I noted that quite a few people have already bought this model, but they haven't made a start. So I thought I would bring the build of this forward. Um, so I've got everything together. Uh, I've got the instruction booklet here. Okay. Uh, and it says um, that uh, we won't need plans or anything. It all self jigs together. All glue joints are made with CA unless otherwise stated. So I've got my trusty bottle of, of CA here. I've got uh, a new blade in the knife and we're gonna crack on. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Yeah, just about an hour. And I'm a slow builder, but this thing was so easy to put together. That is the fuselage. Can you believe it? It's absolutely tiny, you know? So, uh, and that's uh, like a, a canopy bit that, cut, that will come off. In fact, I hope I haven't stuck it down. No, there we go. So there's a bit of a canopy. There's a tongue there, and that just fits onto there like that. Okay, obviously it's got to be sanded down a bit uh, as yet, um, but that is the basic fuselage all done. It, you don't need plans, it just pops together. <laughs> I wish more models were like that, it was so easy, it was incredible. Right, let's crack on with the next stage. Okay, so it's taken me a while, um, wing, wings always, seem to take a lot longer than fuselages. And uh, this one's been no different. There's been a lot of uh, fiddly bits to do here. Um, so it's taken me about five hours, I think, to complete the four wing panels. So I've got the, the uh, center sections and the tip sections. Those are all made up now. Um, you can see that they've got these turbulator strips on the leading edge. Here, yeah. okay, those all had to be glued in individually. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was okay. So there's a bit of sanding to be done here now. And of course, the, these two halves have to be joined together. Um, I may just do a bit more sanding this evening. As you can see, the other half is, is done as well. So that's, that's the four wing panels all done and dusted along with the, the fuselage, which we completed earlier. Um, and uh, so, yeah, there's a bit of shaping to do. The leading edges have got to be shaped and um, just everything just smoothed off. Um, then I can join the four wing panels together, um, then make up the t tail feathers on this. Um, and then what else? Oh, we've got to fit all the um, electronic gubbings, the servos, etc. Um, so yeah, there's a bit, bit more work to be done yet. I've got all day tomorrow near enough. So I'm hoping that the, well, the airframe should be complete tomorrow. Um, how much more will be left to do by the end of the day tomorrow? I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so we're cracking on with it and, uh, it's, it's, it's going okay. Um, I'm quite happy considering I'm not a balsa basher at all. Um, I don't build that much at all. So, um, yeah, it's going okay. So we'll catch you later. Okay, so it's day two 
of the Microbot build. Um, I spent about five, six hours, um, six hours yesterday um, building the model so far. Uh, it only took me a, an hour to put the fuselage together and then the rest of the time was, was, um, was the wings. It does take a little bit of time. Uh, then last evening I spent an hour whilst I was watching TV doing a bit of sanding. So I've sanded down one of the, the inner panels. That one is, is done now, that's ready. And I made a start uh, sanding the uh, outer panel for that one yesterday. Um, because th there's quite a bit of sanding to do with it. If you can see uh, on, on the other panel, where you've where I've stuck the um, uh, that's in focus where I've stuck the the leading edge on there that all has to be sanded right down so that it looks like that one in focus so um, yeah so there's quite a bit of sanding to be done and that's my job uh, for today uh, well not just the uh, the sanding. There's probably uh, another uh, couple of hours worth of sanding uh, to be done here. Once I've done that, uh, then I can move on to um, the, uh, putting the, the wing together um, with, the, with the joiners and then moving on to sanding the fuselage, uh, particularly the nose block. Uh, the nose block is going to take uh, a bit of sanding, as you can see there. Okay. That'll take a bit, bit of sanding. Uh, I've got the tail feathers to put together. That, that shouldn't take too much, I wouldn't have thought. Um, so we're going to crack on. Uh, it's been a few hours on and uh, everything is sanded down. I've sanded down the fuselage. Uh, that's all done. That's all ready now for covering. Uh, the wing uh, has been sanded down and uh, joined. I had to fit the wing joiners, join everything together and I've given it one final sanding down. Uh, so it's, it's pretty good actually just feeling it here. There's a couple of little marks here that I need to just go over with a, with a uh, bit of paper, but that's all done. Um, the tail feathers, the um, Horizontal stabilizer, elevator, uh, they're ready for covering. Everything now is, is ready for covering and um, I can't do, that's all the construction done. So uh, I need to cover this before we move on. So um, yeah, it's been a, been a good job so far, uh, pretty quick. So what time is it now? It's half past two and I started, I don't know, about 10.30 this morning, something like that. A um, little bit of a break for lunch, but um, yeah, so we'll crack on and uh, we'll get some covering done. It's day three and um, I've been a busy boy and I've covered the wing uh, in a nice clear red film. Uh, I decided I wasn't going to use the uh, dock lamb that was provided. Um, and yes, there will be an increase in weight, but um, I just fancied it looking a little prettier. Um, this was uh, some film that I already had at home from a previous project. Uh, this was the Hobby King film and I've used the Hobby King film loads of times uh, on, on other projects and it's, it's really good stuff. I'm, I'm impressed with it. You get a lot more for your money and it's good quality. So um, I've always been happy to to carry on using it and this is no, no different. Um, I'm mostly used to covering foam wings or fully sheeted wings um, and it's been a very long time since I've, I've covered 
uh, a framework type type wing like this. Um, so uh, it was a bit of a challenge. Um, I've got to go over it and tighten it up in a, in a few places, but overall I'm pleased with it. Um, also, I've done the um, horizontal stabilizer and elevator, they've got to be joined, and the, um, the rudder, um, the, the fin itself, I've, I've still got to do, I've got a bit there, so I've just got that to, that to cover now. Um, I've had a bit of a mishap with the fuselage. I was going to cover that uh, over the weekend, but um, my canine friend decided he was going to use it as a toy, or thought it was a toy, and uh, he grabbed hold of it. So if I can get this fairly close, if it'll focus in on it, there we go. Okay, so you can see there's some bite marks. All right, and there and there on both sides. So I've got a little bit of a repair to work before I can even get this thing in the air. So it's a bit of a bummer, but you know, these things happen. Uh, so this, uh, that's something I've got to crack on with probably this evening. Anyway, uh, this is going to be the uh, end of the, the first part of the build, well, the first video part of the build. Um, part two of the build will be finishing off this covering, uh, fitting the servos, receiver, um, and, um, and the battery, and a BEC because I'm using a two-cell LiPo uh, to power this. Um, so um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, happy flying.